In this video series, we are going to discuss digital electronics, which covers these topics. See the topics here, number systems and codes. Under that, we are going to cover the basic number systems like binary, octal, decimal and hexadecimal and conversions uh, from one number system to another number system. After that, binary arithmetic that means addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And after that we are having so many codes like BCD and uh, uh, XS3 and grey code and all this we are going to discuss and complement representation of signed numbers are also going to discuss in the same topic. So that is by using ones complement and twos complement representations and in, by using sign magnitude form how we are going to represent signed numbers that we are going to discuss in this topic, first topic. So after that we are having some uh, BCD subtraction by using uh, nines and uh, tens complement and XS3 subtraction by using nines and tens complement we are going to do in that and hexadecimal subtraction uh, by using hexadecimal subtraction by using um, same uh, 15s and 16s complements we are going to discuss there and coming to um, logic gates and boolean algebra there we are going to discuss all basic logic gates like end gate, OR gate and NOT gate and XR gate, XNR gate and all these we are going to discuss all basic gates we are going to discuss in this topic along with some boolean laws and theorems like De Morgan's theorem and consensus theorem all these are very important in uh, any technical point of view any technical exam point of view like gate so there in logic gates and boolean algebra we are going to discuss uh, how uh, we need to get the output expression of a logic circuit having some uh, logic gates and by using boolean algebra how we need to reduce a long boolean expression that we are going to discuss there and after that we are going to discuss k maps also in that same topic of logic gates and boolean algebra we are going to discuss k map reduction and after that we are having combinational circuits so these are very important in uh, uh, digital electronics so we are going to design ourselves our circuits we are going to design by using combinational circuit design process and here we are going to design adders, subtractors, comparators and all these we are going to design their uh, parity generators, what not. Everything we are going to uh, generate there. Here we are going to design combinational circuits. So in the topic of sequential circuits, when we are discussing sequential circuits topic, so there we are going to discuss so, so many sequential circuits uh, like flip flops, latches and uh, the application of flip flops like shift resistors and counters in counters we are going to discuss asynchronous counters and uh, synchronous counters so like that uh, those are very important topics in uh, sequential circuits coming to logic families we are going to discuss all bipolar that means rtl ttl dctl dtl and all these uh, i square l all these we are going to discuss under bipolar logic families coming to unipolar logic families we are going to discuss p mass n mass and c mass and uh, how these p mass n mass c mass are acting as inverters and how these can be uh, acting as um, these nand gates and nor gates all these we are going to discuss in the topic of logic families coming to semiconductor memories here we are going to discuss semiconductor memories like ram rom and ep rom and all this uh, like flash memory and all this we are going to discuss under semiconductor memories so coming to a to d and d to a converters th this topic is also very important for any technical exam point of view in this we are going to discuss analog to digital converters and digital to analog converters under DAC we are going to discuss uh, binary weighted resistor DAC and R2 R ladder DAC coming to ADCs we are going to discuss counter type ADC, successive approximation type ADC, flash or parallel type ADC, dual or integrating type ADC and all the sigma delta ADC all this comes under ADCs so all these we are going to discuss under A, A to D and D to A converters 
videos. So after that we are having some topics related to microprocessor. So relating, uh, relating to IO and architecture and all these we are going to discuss in this video series. So when you are uh, taking knowledge of sequential circuit you must be uh, clear about these two topics. Uh, without knowledge of first and second units you can't even understand what is combinational circuit process and what is sequential circuit process why because in combinational circuits we are going to discuss adders to uh, to design adder you need to know the procedure of addition so that may be covered in this to in this topic so like that if you want to design any bcd adder if you want to design any xs3 adder all these process you must know so all these process will cover in uh, number system and codes the process of addition will cover in number systems and codes but the designing of that adder will be covered in combinational circuits that means all the topics are related so when you are going for any video so you may you need some knowledge about uh, basics like uh, number systems and code and uh, logic gates and boolean algebra so when you are going uh, going through 3 to 8 you need 1 to 1 and 2 definitely so hope you will understand this video series and it may be useful for you and all the best for your exams